When you sit down at the computer, are you struggling to decide what to write about? Have you done hours of keyword research and you sit there and you're like, what do I really need to focus on? I've got 6,000 spreadsheets with a million keywords. Like, which of them should I focus on? In this video, I'm going to show you the five ways I decide what to write about next. Please hit the like button. It really helps. Thanks. So number one, I actually go to my drafts because I almost always have like a hundred articles in draft. Maybe I put the keywords in there or, or something and I just go to the top one and I just hit edit and I start working on it. I just take away all of the thought and the consideration. At one point, I thought this keyword was a good one and I'm just going to nail it, knock it out, get it out of the way. The second way I decide what to write about in a given day is I actually go to my Azoic Big Data Analytics and I look under the content tab. I look at the content that has the highest RPM. Maybe that post doesn't get the most traffic, but the RPM is really high. So I will focus on writing a post that is maybe a shoulder to this, or maybe supports this, that is similar enough to that really high potentially earning post with the goal of it having a similar RPM. The next thing I do is I go and look at the posts that get the highest amount of traffic. And I will try to write an article that that audience, having gone to that article and read to the bottom, or maybe reading somewhere in the middle, something that they would be interested in clicking on something that would help them based upon what that original article was. Maybe that article isn't keyword focused, although usually it is. The goal in the article is to get them to click on that supporting article so that they'll stay on the site longer. Next, and going back to the articles that get the most traffic, I will try to create a post that is somewhat similar to the post that is getting the most traffic. I'm not saying that I would do the same post or the same keyword, but I would look at the style of the keyword or maybe I would look at some of the components of that keyword. Google, assuming that we're talking about uh, organic search, if Google is favoring my site for that keyword. Odds are if I make something similar, the Google might also favor that post. This is especially the case when you have lots of posts and you have like one breakout post. It's like crushing all of the rest of them. You have one of those posts. I mean, I would definitely be creating content that I don't want to say is the same, but is similar. That would also be in that content silo or content cluster so that it could just like ride the code tales of that big post. And finally, I look at the content that I already have on the site. If you're using Link Whisper or Yoast, you'll have the ability to see pretty easily whether or not you have any internal or external links associated with one post in particular. So I will surf through my content and look for what we call orphan posts. Sometimes on my sites, a post will be orphaned because there is nothing really to link in or out. Maybe there's no other similar content on the site. And I just try not to link random things to each other. So if there is a post that's just like, hanging out there alone, I'll try to write some content that goes along with it so that they can link to each other and work on creating a deeper dive into that topic. Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to open up Google. No! I don't want to open up my favorite keyword research tool. No! And I don't just want to mindlessly start searching. No! Because you know what happens? I'll be there for the rest of the day. I will get no content posted and I will finish the day feeling like a failure, like garbage. For me, especially for my sites that are focused on making money with display ads, I need to get as much content up as I can and spending hours doing keyword research when I already have like a million potential keywords for this site that I've already generated is just a waste of my time. So what about you? When you are sitting in front of that keyword, when you are sitting in front of that computer, just not feeling sure what to write about, how do you get moving? How do you decide where to go next? Let me know in the comments. It would probably help me and help other people who are in the same situation. On the screen right now, you should see two things. One is a playlist. This goes to my 2021 case study series where I'm posting at least monthly about my progress with starting a brand new site. And the other one is a video that YouTube thinks you will like that will be helpful to you. Let me know in the comments, is that a video that is actually helpful? 